So I brought this amp meter and volt meter from eBay. It just arrived. The seller in the envelope sent me this with the diagram how to wire this. And the diagram is basically simple. This is for the amp meter, the thick wires. It goes to the negative part of the of the power supply. This it is connected to the power supply negative end, the black wire. The red wire goes to the load. This is for amp meters. And for the voltmeter, this is a three-wire voltmeter. So the red and black goes to plus and minus for powering up the voltmeter and the yellow it's measuring the the volts now this is the tricky part if you want to measure a value inferior of 4 volts you need to you need to put like a separate power supply for the voltmeter has to be uh, bigger than 4 volts and not big uh, not not passing 40 volts something like that and after that you can measuring uh, value inferior of, inferior of 4 volts with the yellow wire if you are measuring above 4 volts you can just put these two and these two together and uh, the the minus it will be on the on the thicker wire because these two are are wired together behind it so we are going to do that right now i have my power supply my bench power supply this eventually has to change this one here which is like i don't like it I just improvise something. I bought this. I'm gonna put it here. So first, I need to see if the voltmeter it's power. It's going to power up. Okay. So minus. This power supply it's up to this power supply it's up to 12 volts so it will not be a problem. I'm gonna put like a plus minus and it's going on. Okay. Good enough. And now this go the yellow one goes with the red one for measuring the, the voltage 6 volts perfect I don't know if there are 6 volts here or more okay. but it's working like in the diagram and that's something now to see how accurate is this I have my multimeter here I'm gonna put it on the 20 volt scale and measuring sinks from 0.05 so well good enough okay this says it's up to 10 amps amps the Amp meter, so I'm gonna I'm going to put in yeah there it's go oh, under four volts, so it's not powering up. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna put in like a load. The load. At uh, the the power supply can generate up to four amps, so it's well way out, out of the range of of this amp meter. 
So I'm gonna take a load right now and put it on. Okay, so I have the load ready. The load is a Nikon wire. I don't know how much it how much current is draws this. But I connected the I changed the wire because these two in the diagram the yellow the yellow and the red can go together and these can stay in the air air if they are going together like that and the current it will go in on the negative on the black wire and it will go out on the red wire and okay it's working now let's pull up Yeah. Well, I thought it will go up to two amps, to four amps, but the drop of the drop of the of the tension here from 11.5 to 10 volts volts. So I don't think the transformer can do four amps. Anyway. So that's okay. So that's fairly accurate. I don't know if my meter is going wrong or something else is going wrong. Okay. I'm gonna try to put a different load that draw more, more of current okay unfortunately i don't think i have a a load for more than two apps this nichrome wire or well, it's i think i will make it shorter and that will 2.28 yes yeah i think if you put it shorter it will draw more amps yeah okay So it goes up to 4 amps, but it's like 7 volts, so yeah, that doesn't help. Okay, the meter is right. That was, that's the meaning of this video and it's working up to 5 amps, so probably. Oh. Ah, the, the voltage dropped a lot, okay. Okay, well what happened right now is that I have it on the same exit, the power of the meter, the power of the instrument, and when I put it above 5 amps, it has like a drop of 10 volts, and it will be it the remaining volts it's less than four volts that these meters this meter needs to be to be powered so it's not the problem with the meter okay so that's all